What is up guys, my name is Shubham Gejewal and today we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4G once again and today in this video we are taking a look at the Mocky 6.0 Marshmallow ROM for this device. So let me just go into the settings first of all and show you the Android version to confirm that this is not a joke or something and over here as you can see Android version 6.0.1 and the Mocky version is MK60.1. So this is the official ROM that uh, Mocky has provided and therefore you do receive nightly updates and that is a very good thing that is uh, available in this ROM. So yes, talking about the video specifically, we will be talking about some of the pros and the cons that uh, I've faced in this ROM and let you know if this ROM is like useful for daily uses. So let's get started and talk about them. So first let us talk about the pros of this ROM and starting with the first one, we have that the proximity sensor works pretty fine and that is a very nice thing that we have in this ROM. In the previous ROM which I reviewed which was the CM13 ROM, the proximity sensor just didn't work and that was a very big uh, down point for that ROM and this is not the case in that, this ROM and therefore this is a really nice ROM. Another thing which was a very big disappointment from the uh, CM13 ROM was that when we closed the display, um, the navigation button right here uh, started to vibrate but this is not the case in this ROM as uh, these navigation button do not vibrate when the screen is off and that again saves the battery and makes the phone prevents the phone from looking very cheap so one more complaint that i was having with the cm13 rom is that it just didn't give the marshmallow feel in this rom uh, instead of even having the android version 6.1 0.1 but what, what is really nice in this ROM is that, again, if you can just go into the uh, uh, application tray, you can see that it is not like Marshmallow, but you can configure in the settings and can configure it to look like Marshmallow at the most extent. So if you just go into these settings and go down to draw settings and then just draw uh, and just configure the draw style to compact and the draw color to light. Now, if you come back to the home screen and uh, select the drawer, you can see that this is pretty much the marshmallow type of uh, drawer that you can have. So yes, as you can see, this is a really nice thing and you don't want third party applications like Google Now Launcher or anything like that for getting this feel and that is again a really nice thing that I'm having on this ROM. So talking about the last pro of this ROM is that uh, the RAM management and the performance is even better than the uh, CM13 ROM. So I also appreciated the CM13 ROM by saying that it, it was a very good performing ROM but this ROM particularly is really really a very nice performing ROM. So even if I open like 10 app applications at one time the RAM just didn't uh, mess up and each and every application that I have in there is kind of very accessible and that is again a really nice thing. I'm really very impressed by the RAM management of this ROM and therefore I like it very much. So guys that was all about the pros of this ROM and now talking about the cons of this ROM let me firstly begin with the first one and that is that the Facebook in this ROM again does not work. So if I just open the Facebook application as you can see again that Facebook page, page loads up and now if I just uh, tap on this email or phone you can see that the application crashes. So again you do not have the app uh, uh, you do not have the option to use Facebook on this ROM again and that is a very bad thing that you have again on this ROM. So what I have as a bug is that if you just install if you just install the ROM and not the G apps, you would have all the stock applications like the camera and the FM radio and things like that. But what is wrong with this ROM is that if you just install G apps and then or boot into the ROM, all the stock applications would just disappear and that is something very weird which happens in this ROM. So by the stock applications, I do not mean like uh, file manager or things like that. But what I mean is like the camera application and fm radio and the sound recorder and things like that so compass fm radio camera and these more more of these things were missing and yes with that said I, as i already told this was the last point of this video and with that said we finally come to the end of this video so yes guys as i already told this was the last con and the last point of this video and with that said i would like to conclude with the saying that uh, this rom is definitely a very very good and stable rom and much better than cm13 in any of the cases but what i would like to say is that if you just don't mind the uh, application facebook will be missing from the applications that would be the point of time when you can install this rom if you just don't want to leave facebook or messenger i just i just cannot recommend this rom for you because uh, Facebook and Messenger just do not work on this ROM. So yes guys, that pretty much wraps up with the video. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and if you did, do let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and also what you can do is subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. You can also share this video with your family members and friends and yes, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.